But what I wanted to do now is to um, add in these enhancements for GCC and what we can do is we can get this package which identifies specifically what um, additional CPU flags can be added to the make.conf file and this means any packages we uh, build that uses these will actually um, incorporate them into the or GCC will actually use them to enhance um, either the size or the speed that the compile program runs at so I can't remember what the package is called I think it's the same as this so what I'll do is I'll just copy the first part of this and as it won't match anything uh, in, uh, Portage will just um, try and identify what package I actually meant it does some sort of matching so it says it doesn't recognize CPU ID and now it's going to suggest some names um, and it's none of them uh, let's try CPU ID to CPU let's see if that does it Yeah, okay, there it is there. So it is CPU ID as, as the name of the program is. Um, you don't normally need to specify the category and the program name, um, but anything in Gen 2, you'll always see both uh, mentioned. It's probably just to ensure that there isn't any conflict. There are some packages that have the same names, but they're in different categories. So it just means that by doing that, there's there's no ambiguity at all. But generally, you'll find that you won't be um, specifying the category. If there is a conflict, for example, if there was two packages called CPU ID to CPU flags, um, Emerge will come back and say there's an it's ambiguous. Which category do you mean? And you'd have to specify it then to obviously get the correct one that you wanted. So let's install this. I think it's just a script. This is so uh, it's just a simple. I oh know it's a it is a program by the looks of it, yeah. So that's done. There's some other ways to find out information about the processor you're using there's a couple of GCC commands here to get information so if I run that one you can see it gives you lots of information about uh, defaults that are set um, what GCs uh, can recognize for the march option for example and the tune option um, so it looks like I've put Athlon MP in it. That, it doesn't recognize that, but it recognizes Athlon. So I might need to change that with the looks of it. Um, let's put this through grep. Yeah, so Athlon MP. Yeah, so I need to change my um, M tune option to read just Athlon not athlon-mp and then this one let's see what this one does okay this is how GCC identifies the processor um, so it looks like yeah it's taken the the first um, option of Athlon 4 and as I said before these are all synonyms they all mean the same thing um, and it shows a load of other things in there like what the architecture is based on and some other switches there like MMX, 3D Now and so on there's no SSC2 as I've mentioned previously and so on so it gives a load more information but for now let's run this CPU ID to CPU flags and you'll see it's identified that this process is capable of 3D Now instructions, 3D Now extended MMX, MMX extended and SSE. So all I need to do is copy this, run nano 
on etc portage make.conf and I can add this in uh, let's say let's add it here just paste that in and what we do is we surround these options by quotes so they become a string and then just set this to an equal so now what we've done we've got a variable called CPU flags x86 and we've assigned it to the output of that program this variable is the same regardless of whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit so I'll save that do yes and press enter and if I rerun the update command we'll see if that's made any changes at all Um, let's have a look. IPv6. Well, this one's got CPU flags, but it's for SSE2, so that, that hasn't been touched. IPv6. All you've got to look for is the bright green because that shows you what's changing. So it looks like that hasn't actually made any difference at the moment, so that's not a bad thing, really. So I don't want them to install, uh, sorry, merge these packages and update them.